You never really know, I think. It looks like we're live. <laughs> think we're good? Hey, everybody. Hey, guys. Hey, it's Chris and Matt. Hello, Mosaic family. We're going live here for a few minutes because we want to make sure that you know everything that you need to know about our parking lot services coming up. We just want everybody to know what things are going to look like, sort of yes. what you need to know in advance, how to RSVP, all that good stuff. So um we're not really going to be interactive right now just gonna just gonna try to roll through this stuff and matt's going to show you a couple of the the techie things here coming up so right um, right on matt right on Good. what's up dan jones okay <laughs> hey, sorry man. that was interactive <laughs> so um uh what you need to know about our parking lot services um we are going to continue to do our live stream at 9 a.m. every week, and that will be the only service that's actually live streamed. Um, then we're going to be offering these two parking lot services every week at 10.50 a.m. and 1 p.m. Um, so we'll be in the Benton Street lot there behind, behind the old um, Church's Chicken building there. Um, this service will be no more than an hour. Um, and the way that's going to look um, every other parking space, there'll be some space between them. We'll be sitting in our cars, or if you want to bring lawn chairs, you can even get out and uh, just kind of sit in your parking space area. We're going to keep everybody socially distanced, but you can be kind of sitting there in your spot or in your car with the windows up or in your car with the windows down. Um, the band will be kind of sitting up on, there's like a grassy area on the other side of that lot, and the band will be kind of up towards the top of that hill. It's kind of a little patio area on the back of the building there. Um, so they'll be up there. It should be pretty visible to everybody. So you'll be able to see them. And then the audio is going to be broadcast to 91.5 FM. So you can turn it on in your car. And then you uh, will also have speakers out in the parking lot that are nice and loud as well. So if you're sitting out there or you got your windows down, whatever, you should be able to hear it through the speakers um, as well there. So um, I'll chime in real quick here, Chris, because that's a good spot. When when people come in, when you guys come in, um, there will be some parking ushers, greeter people that will be meeting you, and uh, they will have something similar to this that they're going to go ahead and just put on the windshield, and that um, will be pointing in towards your car, and that has the 91.5 that Chris just mentioned and some other information there about how to get, probably looks backwards for you, but um how to get song lyrics and all that and i'll go through some of that later in the bible app but you will be given this information in a condensed form once you get there too yeah 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 so yeah so when you show up you won't have to remember all this stuff we'll have our parking attendants we'll have i'll be on a mic probably kind of telling people what's up and we'll make sure and you, yeah you'll have that thing on your windshield so you'll know you'll know what to do but we just want to give you a good idea there um matt mentioned those parking lot attendants that will be there kind of helping people get into the spots and everything so we'll help you figure that out um, and those guys um, or gals will have um, the list of people that have RSVP'd which takes us to the other really important piece of this is that you will have to RSVP to be able to, to attend these services since we only have 25 places and only two services that's that's all we're going to be able to do so we need you to RSVP the RSVP uh, system will open uh, and that, that goes through our registrations um, thing through PCO, Planning Center Online that we use for everything. So you'll be able to find the link to RSVP on our website and on Facebook. We'll make sure that gets shared out. That's going to open on uh, Monday, Monday morning this week, starting this Monday at 9 a.m. And you'll have to RSVP each week. That's uh, right. To get that spot. So it is kind of a first come, first serve thing. So if you can get to it on Monday, you'll want to do that. Um, and we'll, I think we're going to be like church wide emailing out that each Monday so people have a heads up on it. Yeah. yeah. So you um, get an email with a with yep. a in there, take it right to it. You can find be, it on the church center app too. There's registrations right on that as well. There you go. Oh, yes. The, the new church center app uh, that works with PCO. Download it if you haven't. All right. Yes. So, so you'll need to RSVP each week through that link. Um, if one of the services is full, then jump in on the next one. That oh, I just, I just yeah. thought of one thing too. It'll probably be clear. I, I think we're making it clear in the RSVP, but when you RSVP, it's for your vehicle. It's for you and your family or whoever you're bringing. You don't need to RSVP for each person. It's for each party, for each car spot. So, 
just a go. heads up on that. Thank you, sir. Good work. All right. So um, parking lots will have a list of the names of people that have RSVP. We'll get you parked. Um, and then let's talk about um, masks for a second. If you're in your car or in your space around your car, there's no need to wear masks. If you leave your space and if you uh, are going to go into the building for the restrooms, then we are requiring masks for everybody ages three and up below three. Mm -hmm. You know, that's uh, kind of a nightmare, but three and up wear masks. Restrooms will be available for you. We're going to keep those available. We're going to keep them safe. Um, our staff and servants that will be in there um, helping helping uh, clean things and and point people the right direction. We'll, they will be wearing masks. And uh, we also will have masks will be provided if you need them um, mm -hmm. between each use um, after each person goes and we are asking just one person or family at a time in the restroom. Um, then we're going to have a team that will be wiping things down and cleaning things up before the next person comes in. Uh, just trying to be as safe as we can on that. Yeah. Um, so let's see what else in in the car children's activities will be provided if you would like them and all you'll have to do is turn on your hazard lights mm -hmm. and our children's ministry ladies will uh, will see that you'd like children's activities and bring out bring them over to you um let's see yeah i think that's the main stuff about the actual uh parking lot service will be rolling you know a a relatively normal service like we said we're going to try to i don't know if i said this we're going to keep it at uh, no more than one hour of the service especially because we know people are going to you know if you're in your cars and you got kids and if it's hot out all those things we're going to try to keep it trimmed down a little bit but it'll be a pretty um you know regular service with sing singing and, and tony's message and, and all that stuff there and if you if you guys are the service matt if you guys are interested in serving too, maybe what we'll do after this video, Chris, is put the link to sign up to serve in the comments for folks. That's good. Um, because we do need some more folks for the cleaning team and the parking team. So we're uh, we're leaning into you guys for that because there's only uh, a minimum amount of staff uh, who can actually get involved in those things between all our responsibilities. Um, right. I'm going to go ahead. You want me to go ahead and walk them through? Kind of the worship well, experience. The, I was going to hit on. I was going to hit on that the serving teams real fast. So Matt yeah. mentioned them, but just so you know, we have. Um, if you'd like to help, be like the parking usher, security kind of people. If you want to be on that team, um, we definitely could use some people. We're going to need you know four or so in each service each week. So um, the more people we have, then you know maybe it's only once a month or a couple times a month that you serve. But we could use people for that. Um, as well as monitoring people kind of going in the building and stuff too. And then yeah. um, the cleaning team is also a very important piece there that we're going to need four people for each service as well to help wipe down um, the restrooms and the hallways and everything after each use. So if we want to gather and make this thing happen, like Matt said, we really need you to help us do that. We're going to, we're going to need some people. So help us pull that off. And um, yeah, we'll include that link to serve and it's gone out in email. You'll keep saying it, but uh, sooner the better, if you can start, um, you know, just, it's a very simple form, hit the link, fill out the form that you're interested on those teams. And then uh, myself or Brad will reach out to you and make sure we get you scheduled. So I think that covers all that. Matt's going to tell you about a couple more things here. Yeah. So part of the worship experience for everybody uh, we wanted to include a way to access not only the notes for the sermon um, and also just details, uh, but we also wanted to make available the lyrics for the song so we can be singing along together. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that right now from, let's say you're in your car and you have your cell phone. I'm going to go ahead and share uh, my screen of my phone, and hopefully this will work. Give me one moment. And we will get there. And we're up. Okay. So if we go over to the Bible app, the YouVersion Bible app, and this is the app that most people uh, I know that have a Bible app are using. But if you don't, you can search for the YouVersion, Y-O-U, YouVersion Bible app in an app store on your smartphone. And down in the um, bottom right-hand corner, you see that more. You'll click that, and then you're going to look for events. And you'll see events right there. And you should see based on, oh, there's our, 
All right. We made a little mock service and actually showed up for us right now, but you'll see a live mosaic man. So based on your uh, location, if you don't see that, you can type in up here, mosaic Mansfield, and you can see what pops up and it, it brings uh, all the churches around you in that area uh, by location as well. So if we were to hit mosaic Mansfield, this is just a kind of example version of what you'll see. And, um, it's got some of our announcements, how to give, and then you have opening song. And so you can actually click that and see the words right there. That's really neat. So, you know, we're not going to have overheads outside. Um, we're not going to have projection or anything like that. So you'll be able to literally just go through the service with us and see the announcements, see each song and see the lyrics as you go. And then you'll go right into Tony's message. He's got all the scriptures laid out in there. And um, it really just works through the whole entire service. And so even you can even see a f the final song on there and even a little just uh, backup announcement there on the end. So let me go ahead and stop my screen share there. Uh, that will basically be how we're going to run these outdoor services in terms of the worship experience. So I would encourage you to download that Bible app. Uh, we do utilize that app even for our indoor services regularly with uh, Tony's notes. And it's, it's also the Bible, so it's wonderful to have. So um, other than that, I'd already shown you guys what we're going to be giving you to disseminate that information on your cars. So some of the things we're covering now, um, you'll have all the essentials on this sheet placed on your windshield when you come in. And we'll be collecting them. Uh, they'll be laminated and we'll be collecting them when you leave. Um, so, yeah, 91.5 is the station. And you'll just tune into your car. We will have some outdoor speakers um, amplifying sound as well. So if you decide to get out and you're sitting in a lawn chair and your car is not on, uh, you'll still be able to most likely hear anywhere you are in that area. And so, yeah, that's about all I have, Chris. Yeah, I think we covered it pretty well. So, um, and you can always come back to this video later if you forget some of this. Again, we'll answer questions and try and make sure everybody knows what's going on when you show up that day. Make sure you do, um, you know, if you got a smartphone, go ahead and get that uh, Uversion Bible app downloaded before you come um, on that Sunday. And yeah, we'll, um, we'll, we'll keep trying to inform you as, as much as we can. So we're looking forward to these parking lot services starting next Sunday. June 7th, RSVP opens Monday morning at 9 a.m. And um, you'll get an email with that and be able to find it website and Facebook as well. So, hey, we're looking forward to it. And yeah. thanks for bearing with us through all of this information. Thank you, guys. Um, we are looking forward to uh, being with you. And um, like Chris said, this will, the RSVPs will be every week. So uh, you need to be looking for that on Mondays. We thank you guys, and we're really excited to see you.